Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Dan the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing another vocation. This is Assembled Wood Care, a Simcoe Dipper at 8.5%. says all that right on the front there. This is another one that was uh, donated to me by the Beer Dad. Uh, so I don't really know how much it costs, although it's on the website still, so you can find out there. Um, there's not much in the way of guff. It's literally a couple of lines. Um, it's assembled with care, thoughtfully put together dipper, assembled with only Simcoe hops. This modest dipper has notes of berry, apricot, passion fruit, and citra, or citrus, sorry. So all that there, that, and that's it. Uh, the can art's quite nice. It's um, that, which is what I'm assuming is, you can kind of see it. I'll focus my camera. So, you got wheat, you got the hops and the malt and water and thyme and some stuff that you need. Uh, it looks like them uh, make it your own. Uh, assemble yourself kits uh, that you can buy in like corner shops or something of cars and tanks and stuff. It's got that style to it, but it's not. It's it's literally just the brewers, like the tanks and all that stuff. That's all it is. Um, it's another vegan beer, which is good. I'm not vegan, but you know, it, it just gets it out there for you. Um, yeah, let's crack it open, shall we? See what we've got. Um, not at this one. I'm hoping it's nice. It's a dipper, so it's, you know, stronger than usual beer, but we'll find out. 8.5%. Right, so we have got, have we got, hazy, hazy, uh, orange juice looking beer with a nice white compact head. Looks lovely. Let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Give me a sec. There we go. Anyway, um, apricot. That's what I can smell. I can smell apricot. Lemons and limes. Bit of grapefruit. It smells quite nice. Um, let's come off with burning car, shall we? Carbonation is super light, so light. Body, I'd say medium ish. Yeah, I'd say about a medium body. Top up and then big old taste. Cheers. It's apricot and passion fruit are sort of um, fighting out for the main flavour. Um, you get hints of citrus like grapefruit and orange and lemons and limes, but not in too overpowering. It's more of a helper. Um, it's a good beer. I really like this. I'm not getting much of the berries, but... I'm getting the apricots and everything else that they're saying. It's it's good. Of course, at this point from vocation, I've done what thirty odd videos from them. I'm I'm expecting good, and I'm expecting up there and class and you know. But um, but this this one does does hit the expectations. It's it's a good beer. I can't find any faults with it. Yeah, I actually I can't actually find any faults with it. Usually I'm really picky with vocation. I like body more or carbonation more or more for this flavour. I, I can't find anything with this. This is bang on beer. But this is not um this isn't gonna affect my rating. Um but it's getting to that time of year, it's October. It's getting to that time where 
it needs to I'm going to be starting drinking more stouts, porters, that kind of stuff, thicker beers that will warm you up quicker. Dippers and stuff aren't going to be my go-tos, but it's a good one. It's very, very good. So, I think I'm going to go away and enjoy this. Um, it's a lovely little beer. Right, um, I haven't emptied the can yet, I was going to, but I thought... I want to enjoy it. Um, so, vocations assembled with care, Simcoe, Simcoe Dipper. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9. It's very, uh, pardon me, very good. Very worth the money. Um, I don't know how much it was. Like I said, mine was donated to me by the beer dad. Another beer that came in my beer parcel. It was a bunch of vocation. Um, five, five vocation beers, five or six. Um, so I'll be getting through them eventually. But no, this, yeah, 9 out of 10. This is another good vocation beer. Definitely worth buying. Definitely worth getting your hands on. Just give it a go. 8.5. I wouldn't guess it. I, I would guess more of a 6. 6.5, but... It's good. I think the lack of alcohol is... Or the lack of tasting the alcohol is... A good factor. Um, anyway, so if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave locations website down below where you can probably maybe still pick one up. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.